Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 114. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 112 to 120. Hey, this YouTuber wanted to copy a whole table that had named ranges over to a new workbook. But when he tried to copy it and paste it, the names didn't come over. So let's see how to do that. First, we want to name. We want the name of this column to be date, the name of this column to be sales, and the name of this column to be sales rep. Now, we could do it individually, uh, but that would take a long time. And in fact, before we do that, let's look and see if there are any names in this workbook to start off with. The keyboard shortcut to look at your list of names that works in all versions is Control F3. And in 2007, it's called Name Manager. In earlier versions, it was called Define Names. There are no names. I'm going to close this. Now, let's highlight the whole range, and I'll show you the keyboard shortcut to name three columns uh, with one keyboard shortcut. Now, the way this has to work is you have to have the names at the top of each column and then the data below. Highlight the range and Control Shift F3. Remember, I always have lots of notes when you download these workbooks at the top that like list the keyboard shortcuts and stuff like that. Now, uh, we don't want the left column because the left column would uh, name this row right here that date. So we don't want that. We just want the top row. And then click OK. Now, uh, you can highlight this column here and see that up in the name box it says date. There it says sales. And there it says sales rep. If you want to look at what's stored in memory, Control F3. And these are the names that we want to be able to copy. We want to be able to copy the names from memory. All right, um, let's go ahead and try this. Let's open up a new workbook. Control N is the keyboard shortcut for new workbook. You can see it says book two. I'm going to use the uh, keyboard shortcut Alt Tab to go back to that workbook I was just working on. If I highlight this whole table right here, Control C, and then Alt Tab to get back over to Book 2, and Control V to paste, that's fine and dandy. But when I highlight this column right here, it doesn't say date. And when I Control F3 to look at my list of names, they're not there. So copying and pasting to a new workbook will not do it. Let's go back over to our other workbook, Control uh, Alt Tab. So here I am. I'm back in the workbook, um, X, YouTubers Love Excel 112 to 120. And instead of just copying the range and pasting it over in book two, we want to come down to the Sheet tab. And we're going to copy the Sheet tab and send it over to that workbook. And that's the way that you copy whatever's in the cells and the named ranges. So I'm going to right click the Sheet tab, go to Move or Copy. You got to remember to come down to the bottom if you're copying and not moving and click Create a Copy. And then look up here, it says, To what book do you want to move this? I'm going to click the drop down and point to Book 2. Instantly, it looks at the sheets in there and it says, Before Sheet, which one? I'm going to say Before Sheet 1 and click OK. And sure enough, we're, we're now here in Book 2. We have our uh, cells copied. We have our Sheet tab. And if we Control F3, we can see that the names are there. You could also highlight this range here. See that that date name appears in the name box. Or you could use the drop down and point to Sales and see if it jumped. I'm going to Alt Tab back over. We still have our Sheet here because we copied it. All right, um, we will see you next YouTube trick.